So I know a lot of uh, talk today has been revolved around Kareem Hunt and uh, you know his release from the Chiefs and whatnot and being put on Roger Goodell's exempt list and you know I'm, I'm kind of kind of on the fence with this because I have heard uh, I don't know how reliable these sources are but I've heard that the Eagles could possibly take a look at him so you know I, I'm all f it, okay so I'm on the fence so I'm all for it uh, in, in, in the sense of uh, football <laughs> I mean because the kid is an amazing talent and on top of that we're kind of in need at, at the running back position yeah I mean I love Josh Adams and I really hope he develops into uh, into a, a number one running back um, but the thing is is Howie Roseman and everybody they always say they've they've said for years you can never have too much talent talent creates competition and competition brings out the best of players which is true and I think if you bring in Kareem Hunt then that makes everyone better at that position and he's young so you know so from a football standpoint I would be very excited to have Kareem Hunt with the Eagles now we all know and I have probably have seen the video with Kareem Hunt pushing that lady and then kicking her while she was on the floor. By no means should anybody condone that. By no means. And I, I think that's not necessarily the reason why the Chiefs released Kareem Hunt. It's more so the fact that he lied to them. And I watched his interview this morning on uh, ESPN and you know, I, 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 I want to believe him when he says that, you know, his, 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 he was taught better by his mother and, and, and he regrets everything that he did. He, 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 I mean, he said he regretted everything about the way he handled that night, about, you know, not telling the Chiefs the truth. And of course, you know, it could all come down to the fact that, yeah, this video came out and uh, he can't dispute it. He can't dispute it, and you know it, it seems like he's saying things that the things that he said in the interview because he wants to get back in the NFL. I mean, he don't want to be Ray Rice. I I don't blame him. Now, in my personal opinion and 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 my belief system that with anybody that what you do does not define you as a person as who, as who you are. So, we don't know the circumstances of the night, and I'm not, justif I'm not justifying it. So before anybody is trying to jump the gun and saying I'm justified, I'm not justifying what he did by no means. We've seen the video, it's uncalled for, but it, like, it's not justifiable. There's no way you can justify it. But we all make mistakes in life, and nobody's perfect. You know, anybody pointing a finger at Kareem Hunt, they have more fingers pointing back at them. So, you know, it's, it, and it, it kind of reminds me of uh, Michael Vick. I would not put it past the Eagles if they actually did make a, a, an attempt in bringing in Kareem Hunt. Because I think of the Michael Vick situation, which to me, I, I, I believe that it was a way m highly more publici publici uh, publicized, <laughs> uh, I can't talk, um, publicized uh, incident with what he did with the dog fighting. Um, I was shocked when Jeffrey Lurie and Andy Reid brought him in. And they even said that, you know, everybody deserves a second chance, and they gave him a second chance, and Michael Vick learned, and, and he did, he, he, he's still doing things, as far as I know, to, uh, you know, educate people in communities to, you know, prevent dog fighting and things like that, animal cruelty. So, 
because I, I look back and I think of that situation, I would not doubt and I would not be surprised if the Eagles and Jeffrey Lurie kind of put in a waiver claim to claim Kareem Hunt. It might not be right away. I don't know. And there would be backlash, I'm sure. Uh, I mean, there was with Vic. So, you know, based on that, like I said, I would not be surprised. I would not be opposed either. It's just the thing is, the the big thing is is Kareem Hunt lied to the Kansas City Chiefs, and that's what I think ultimately led him to being released. Not necessarily what he did and when that video came out. So we we'll see, man. And and I hope what he said today is true. Um, I hope he does regret it, and I hope that he takes actions to I mean he'll never be able to take away what he did but he, his actions need to prove more than his words that he is remorseful and regrets uh, you know what he did and, I, and, I, and I'm pretty sure that if, if he does get picked up by another team whether it's the Eagles or not they're going to make sure that uh, that that's going to be the case they're, they're going to they're, they're going to get him like rehabilitated or whatever you want to call it, but they're going to get him involved in uh, correcting his wrong. So that whole PR team, man, they're going to be on top of it. So, man, with that being said, I, I guess – oh, and I do think it's kind of shady that, you know, before this video came out, the NFL never, you know, interviewed him and, and, and asked him about – you know what happened and this that and the other not saying that he would have told the truth necessarily because he lied to the chiefs but i just think that it's kind of kind of messed up that you know the nfl they don't go through that process with him and this video comes out and they still don't talk to him and they just put him on roger goodell's exempt list so i don't know but it so far it seems like kareem hunt's owning everything that he did um, but actions speak louder than words, and hopefully he follows through with his words and uh, attempts to right his wrong. And if that, if that is the case, I would be all about the Eagles signing him. We'll see, man. We'll see. With that said, man, go Birds. <laughs> Good luck to Kareem Hunt, man, because... You could be Ray Rice number two, which is sad.